In this video, we're going to talk about possessive adjectives. So, you should be able to indicate who something belongs to by using words like my book or his car. Unlike English, possessive adjectives in Spanish have to have the correct gender and number. Let's take a look at a chart that you should copy down into your notes. The way we say my in Spanish, if the, if the object that is mine is singular, I say mi. For example, mi casa, my house. Your house would be tu casa. To say his house or her house, su casa. To say our house, we would have to use nuestra casa because it's feminine. If it were book, we would say nuestro libro. And finally, their house or your all's house, su casa. So I'm sure you're noticing that two of these are the same. And that's correct. You just might have to indicate who you're talking about if you're using su in a sentence. Now the other piece to this is when you are talking about someone that owns more than one thing, you have to make the possessive adjective plural to match. So my houses would be mis casas. Your houses, tus casas. His houses or her houses, sus. Our houses, nuestras casas. And their houses or you, all, you all's houses, sus. So it's pretty simple. There's only four words, or I guess one, two, three, four words to, to know and to be able to form them correctly when you're writing a sentence. Let's check your understanding. Pause the video and try to translate these five phrases in your notebook. Then we'll go over the answers. My house. It's singular, so we would say mi casa. Our kitchen. Singular, so we would say nuestra cocina. Cocina is feminine, so we must choose the feminine form of nuestro, nuestra. Your book. Tu libro. Their classes. Now it's plural. Sus clases. My cousins. Again, it's plural. Mis primos. 